Star Wars Galaxy Hero players, this is Andy Tesh Order, and today we got two exciting characters to talk about. Um, and they are veteran smuggler Chewbacca and veteran smuggler Han Solo. <clears throat> Which is really interesting. Um, so, we finally got a new Chewbacca and a new Han Solo. It looks like Chewbacca's not going to be... In previous videos I've talked about having him, you know, rework Chewbacca where he's a one-time Chewbacca. He works through all um, generations, you know, being a Galactic Republic, Rebel, and um, Resistance. But they didn't do that, and that's fine. Uh, this is what we get, and it's actually, actually different. A lot of people are like, oh no, <clears throat> some people might be thinking Rebels, but... It, or even they would have probably thought this was going to be a Resistance character. The Him and Han Solo are just scoundrels. That's it. It's like the first, like... 10 minutes of the movie that Han and Chewbacca pop in, they're not considered resistance. And so that's what they decided to take. Okay, let's just do two characters that are not even part of the resistance. That that they're, you know, here. So they're just scoundrels and smugglers. <clears throat> Which makes me wonder if they even though smugglers and scoundrels are kind of the same, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually do smuggler as a... Uh, option or underworld you know i don't know what they're going to do with that but for the most part right now him and han are uh scoundrels just light side scoundrel attackers so here's two brand new characters that you could use for your credit heist and droid um heist events um so yeah we'll, we'll go ahead go ahead and go over them so this is chewbacca for the most part obviously <clears throat> unlocks at we don't know where it's at yet I don't know if they're going to do a couple of uh, marquee events for them. Are they going to just be a duo and a legendary event? Where you need smugglers to unlock them? Or scoundrels to unlock them? What the? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ha! I clicked on it. So, we'll, we'll find out. So, <clears throat> we got explosive bolts. The powerful blast from his bowcaster. I, I do hope that they redo rework Chewbacca. The, right, the Clone Wars one. Which makes me wonder if they're going to at least do three Chewbacca's in this, which would be interesting. Um, so, do physical damage target enemy with 80% chance to daze them for two turns. So, yeah, this is what this video is showing right here. This little clip, it dazes them and does a decent amount of damage for now. <clears throat> Furious Blow. He runs up and whacks him. That's kind of weird, but hey, he's a Wookiee. I don't, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> you don't want to mess with a Wookiee. Do physical damage to target enemy, dispel all buffs on them, and stun them for one turn. Inflict speed down on all enemies for two turns. So that is his secondary ability. <clears throat> Boom. Speed down on everyone. So he comes, whacks, dispels, gets stun the target, and then di speed down on everyone. That's going to be really good, actually. he's going to be. They're going to be really good in the... Uh, uh, territory battles, so you know, definitely be ready to pick them up depending on how they get picked up. So, his unique ability, Partner Crime, which also Han Solo has the same type of ability, except just the name change in the abilities, of course. Chewbacca has 25% crit chance and 50% health steal. When veteran smuggler Han Solo takes damage, Chewbacca gains 20% critical damage stacking until he scores a critical hit. When veteran smuggler Han Solo is defeated, Chewbacca gains 100% turn meter, his cooldowns are reset, and, and he takes an additional turn after the ne his next turn. So he gets an extra turn, gains 100% turn meter, his cooldowns are reset. Wow, this is insane. That's insane. And, and these damage stacks, which is why you will eventually see see that one's just 11,000 there are some videos out there that Arnold T warrior and mobile gamer have access to and maybe a few other youtubers and they uh, <clears throat> they show that this ability could do like 50,000 damage I'm like wow that's really really powerful I don't know if this would be a, a duo that maybe actually slightly debut or um, rework to uh, be weakened a little bit because that seems pretty powerful to get to the point of doing 50,000 But we'll see how they work out in the end. Um, they're also um, The other youtubers are calling a meta changing and I could see where this is meta changing so 
And then the last ability, let the Wookiee win, which I wouldn't be surprised this ability should be on a, uh, the, a, like the A New Hope version of Chewbacca. But at the start of each tur enemy turn, Chewbacca gains 12 offense stacking, 12% offense stacking until he uses two abilities. Uses two abilities, so it's like special and basic, or basic, basic. So, start of each enemy turn. So if there, this is another another thing about this team, um, this duo, is a really good with going against speedier characters. So they want you to have the speedier characters go first, so that this guy can, these guys can build up and bash in. So, <clears throat> of course, they, I will admit this is the part of another two light side characters like it's good because they're getting them ready they could have been released more towards um the episode seven of force awakens time but they weren't they're released now which is fine uh but still they're pretty powerful they're really powerful um you know general strategy days from explosive boats he's just shutting down multiple turn teams and counterattack focused strategies and then veteran smuggler Han Solo greatly increases veteran smuggler Chewbacca's damage through the stacking critical damage that they both gain. So yeah, you basically stacks, you know, it's good against heavily speeded modded enemies. So there's a lot of speeded characters like between 230 to 270, depending on the character's uh, base speed before they actually got the mods added on. There's a lot of fast characters, so these guys are really good against those those teams. That is, of course, if you also have a couple of tanks to help back them up until then. <clears throat> so let's go over to veteran Han Solo. So here's Han Solo. So now we have a third, fourth Han Solo. Sorry, I almost miscounted. We just got a third Han Solo. So now we have Stormtrooper Han. <clears throat> At this point in time, we have four Stor um, Han Solos. Right now, we have Stormtrooper Han for his leadership. Then you have Han Solo, the Captain Han Solo, then Veteran Smuggler Han Solo. That's four Han Solos in the game. Which means they may or may not add, like, a another Han Solo, like an Endor version. Um, maybe they may actually wait until the new Han Solo comes out. The uh, Han Solo movie. When that Han Solo movie comes out, they'll probably do a young Han Solo. So we might actually have a team of five Han Solos. That's insane. I, I, it makes me wonder if they get like a super crazy, you know, multiple of the same character and different variations. Like they have to do that with like Luke Skywalker, for exa is example. The two Luke Skywalkers we have, Jedi Knight Luke. Uh, Pilot Luke and then Grand Jedi Master Luke or something and <clears throat> Grand Master Jedi Luke or something and They make it to where that team is super overpowered and you know They need to like make it to where you can only have one character in battle with you know the, the one name So even like Palpatine and Sidious can't be in the same battle, but I don't know if they ever do that um they may do that maybe for Rena eventually, and that wouldn't be too bad. Having two Han Solos is kind of, yeah, you should have one character. But for the most part, you know, this is what it is. Um, so his first ability, oh, and he's, again, he's also Scoundrel Attacker, no resistance tag. He was never really resistance to begin with. Um, he was smuggling in the Episode 7. He only helped the resistance for a little bit before he passed on. Um, the one I would see more being resistance would be Chewbacca but we don't see that. So it's true shot, <clears throat> basic attack. Deal physical damage to target enemy with 50% chance to attack again. This chance is doubled if target is debuffed. So we're still getting close to the just regular raid Han Solo where he attacks again on his basic. But that's of course his Zeta. Han inflicts stagger for two turns when he attacks again. So that's really good. Um, can I try that? Of course, this is the nod to the he uses Chewbacca's bowcaster in Episode 7. And I thought that was kind of funny. He's like, you'd think that he would have used it before, but Chewbacca probably just uses it a lot and never gave it to Han. He never maybe had the chance of using it. Or maybe it's an upgraded bowcaster. 
compared to the bowcaster from episode four, five, and six, but we don't know. Um, but yeah, he basically deals physical damage to all enemies, stun the primary target for one turn, and 80% chance to inflict ability block on all enemies for one turn. That is insane. So he's an AOE that does a lot of, does decent amount of damage or some damage, but he also stuns the primary target and then ability blocks all the enemies. It's kind of like a Boba Fett a, um, AOE. That's really cool. So, oh, unique abilities partner in crime, not. Um, wait, what was Chewbacca? Hold on, I just went blank on Chewbacca as really quickly. I didn't say go back to Han Solo. Sorry about this. Give me a moment. Okay, Chewbacca. Oh yeah, it is partner in crime. What was I thinking? <laughs> I I don't know. I, for some reason, when I saw it, I was like, wait, is this the right world? You know, unique. <clears throat> I thought it was the same one, but yes, it is partner in crime, and this one has 25% chance, critical chance of 50% health steal. When he takes, when Chewbacca takes damage, Han gains 20% crit damage, stacking until he scores a critical hit. When veteran Chewbacca is defeated, Han gains 100% turn meters. Turn meters cooldowns reset, and he takes an additional turn. So you know, really similar to um, Chewbacca's. They're really same name, they just changed the names around a bit. So, and then Swindle. Whenever you, an enemy gains a buff, Han gains 25% counter chance stacking until the end of his next turn. When Han gains a debuff, he gains 50% defense stacking until the end of his next turn. Whenever Han gains any status effect, he gains 50% armor penetration stacking until the end of his next turn. Wow, he has a lot of stacking abilities. So these characters are like get to the point where they're going to do a lot of damage. And again, you know, they work pretty well. At least Chewbacca does work really well with against uh well McMull said something. Oh, video breakdown. So yeah, you can look at some of these characters on or YouTubers, they have some video footage. I don't have access to them without, you know, getting, you know, copyright issues, so I'm not going to do that. But I am suggesting them. I'm going to work with probably getting them added to my to the links in the description below on theirs. If not, you can just look it up. But yeah, this is Raid Han and Raid or no, I'm sorry. Ha 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 ha. I laugh at that one. This one is Veteran Smuggler Han and Chewbacca. Um, the only Chewbacca I'm really now hoping is if they do a Chewbacca release with the Millennium Falcon and throw that into the raid where Raid Han is, so we can start farming. Raid Chewbacca and Raid Millennium Falcon, which is Episode 4's Millennium Falcon. That would be insane. But will we see this? We don't know. But for the most part, yes, this is Chew this is Raid Han and Raid uh, Raid Chewbacca. So um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and you guys have a wonderful day.